Hey everybody, welcome to Susie's Stuff. In today's episode, I'm gonna try and be clever. I was just sitting and looking at all my supplies to see what I could come up with, and the star supply was Mod Podge. I'm gonna use that in a couple of my projects. I just love, it's messy and yucky, and we're gonna have a great time with that. Don't forget that I'm here to inspire you to create your own wonderful DIYs, plus inspire each other, so leave some comments down below. So I want to get started, but if it's your first time here, let me introduce myself. Hey everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie's Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. I'm so happy you're here. I would love it if you'd click and subscribe and then click the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up or even a comment. So don't touch that dial. Let's go make some stuff. And to kick things off today, I'm so excited to be using some hound's tooth. So we're gonna make some hound's tooth decor. I found this beautiful scarf at Dollar Tree. And I love the pattern so much, I said I've got to make something with that. So I've got one of those bunny heads from Dollar Tree. And then these are four kind of plaques. They came four in a pack and those were from Hobby Lobby. $2.99 for four, that's pretty good. And I got it on half price. So I'm taking that um, head, it, I think it comes with like some um, carrots and things, we've all seen them at Dollar Tree. And I'm just covering it with some Mod Podge. There's our star supply. And so I'm taking that scarf and I'm going to be placing it on top of the uh, hound's tooth. I kind of flipped that over so it wouldn't stick to that. So I'm just going to place that on there and smooth it all out and then add another coat of Mod Podge. So now while that is drying, it didn't take very long to dry, about an hour or so. And I'm just going to use my little drill here, drill a hole in that plaque and put in that dowel. Now that dowel came from Dollar Tree. I think they come in a pack of, I don't know, is it four or five or six or something like that. So I'll just get that placed in there and I think I tap it down with my hammer. Yep, just tap, tap, tap right in there and it is very secure. Now I'm just giving it a, this little base bar a quick two coats of the Waverly Chalk Paint in white. And that's drying. And so now my head part is dry. I just cut off the excess of the scarf. And now I'm just fine tuning it with um, an emery board from Dollar Tree and just getting it all nice and neat around the edges. Nice and clean. And here comes my little clever part. <laughs> I don't know how clever it is, but I have one of those white beads. It was already white. And I just cut out five strands of the twine. And I am just closing up the end there with a piece of tape so that I can thread it, all five of the pieces together in the bead. Just pushing it through there worked out great. Pulling that through and then I'm gonna take off that tape. And what it's going to be is his little whiskers and nose. Is that clever, ha? Huh? <laughs> so I thought that was so funny. But that's gonna go right on there. And so easy, just pop it on with a little bit of hot glue. And I didn't even have to hot glue the inside of the bead. It was really tight and so didn't need to do that. Those whiskers aren't going anywhere. And the last thing that we need to do is just glue the head to the stick there. And I just gave it a little bit of reinforcement and our little bunny hound tooth head is complete. And I didn't want to stop there. I have more hound's tooth scarf left over. So what I did is just put it on some wax paper and give it a good thick coat of Mod Podge. And then I'm gonna let that dry. Mm -hmm. 
And so now that's dry. Well, there's a little part there that wasn't, but I got so excited, I had to keep going. So I'm just cutting off little strips, and what I'm gonna be doing is just making some shapes of some flowers. Just kind of going around and in and out and around. If you wanted to make a pattern, go right ahead. I just was kind of freehanding it to see how well I could do. So I just kind of go around and around and around. They're not all perfect and they're not all the same. Um, and so I'm going to be cutting all of those out. And once those are done, I'm just kind of bending them up a little bit. And I'm going to be using some of my wire there. And um, I used some uh, the tweezers to punch a little bitty tiny hole uh, through there my hole punch would have been way too big so I'm just doing that to all of them I don't even know how many I have there and then I'm taking um, some of my wire I think it's a 20 gauge and I wrap it around a dowel and then just make sort of like a little curly cue yes my fingers got a lot of dirty from that wire working with it I put a little dot of glue in the back and how cute is that it makes a little flower on a stem I love how this turned out I was even thinking I could put a dot of glue in the center without making it a curly hue and you could maybe add a little button in the center but I think these flowers turned out so cute they're little like little um spring flowers just blooming away with the hound tooth pattern i love it i love that scarf i hope you can find it at dollar tree i've seen them uh, a, a few times there so pick one up i think it's a really neat pattern so now all of those are done look how cute a little bouquet is it bouquet Okay, so I have a vase from Dollar Tree as well and what I'm gonna do is add some of this clear glue at the bottom I probably put too much <laughs> like a half of the bottle in there and um, I'm going to be placing the flowers in there and it's gonna dry clear and we've got some fake water going on so I just place those in there any which way very whimsical I just I love this and so I actually placed um, some tape across the top um, and, and that's called a frog I didn't know that for a long time my granny gave me one of her little vases and so now I just have to wait for that to dry <laughs> I couldn't sleep that night because I was so excited <laughs> and so finally it dried but not all the way but here is my little hound tooth rabbit how cute is he you can place him anywhere on your table whatever and here are the flowers now if you notice down below it looks dry which it almost is it's almost hardened but I couldn't wait any longer it did that was too dry two days of drying there and I think it needed one more day but I just love how these pieces turned out. I felt so clever creating them, and I know that you can make some exactly the same way. Hey, we could use them with um, like um, some really pretty napkins, you know, with the floral print. That would be neat, but I think using the wax paper really made it hold up well, plus the Mod Podge. So I love how this hound tooth decor turned out. I hope you like it too. And our next project today is called Shabby Chic Bunny. And I'm going to be using those towels you see at Dollar Tree. Um, I think they're called a flower sack towel. And one of the little wreath forms, they come two in a pack. It's the smaller ones. And some of the white spoons. Hmm, I wonder if you're going to guess what I'm going to use those for. So I cut my towel down to about 12 or 13 inches by 9 and then I'm going to just kind of make little nicks in them and then I'm going to be just pulling them apart just kind of stripping them because I want it to be very shabby chic very rustic so I'm gonna be doing that to all of them I couldn't tell you I used well I used one full towel and I used a little bit of another towel so grab two towels when you see them just in case
Okay, and so my method for tying around the wreath is I first tied the outer two uh, rings together and then the inner two rings. So I went to the outer two and then the inner two and then the outer two and the inner two. Oh yeah, sit yourself in front of the uh, TV, watch a fun little movie or whatever and <laughs> get to tying. It really didn't take that long to do. I just did it at my craft table. So remember the outer two and then the inner two. And I'm almost done. I think, um, I think I'm on the second towel here. But it just comes out so beautiful. I love how that towel looks. And um, it just makes it all fluffy and shaky. And this is how the back looked, which I thought was kind of neat as well. So that part is done. And now for the spoons. I was walking around Dollar Tree thinking, what could I use for ears? Hmm. So I probably went around the store a couple of times and these spoons popped out. I'm like, they look just like ears. So we are going to add that to the back of our wreath and those are going to be the little bunny ears. How cute is that? So I'm, I had to cut them down with my cutters and then I'm hot gluing them sort of at an angle on each side with an extra piece of the uh, towel to secure them down and look how cute I did take my scissors and trim it just a little bit because it seemed a little bit big and it didn't really um, mess up anything and I just love how uh, that came out so I did just trim a little bit all the way around If you've been watching my channel for a while, I am taking some shoe polish. Oh, and look at these really cool things that I found at Dollar Tree. How neat is that? They had the little uh, galvanized words on them. And I took off the welcome. And I'm just going to be using my popsicle stick. This is a jumbo or giant popsicle sticks from Walmart. Just cut off the little curvy part. And I'm using my just love this shoe polish. And it just stains something super quick and dries super quick. And if you want to make it a little bit darker, just wait a couple of seconds while it dries and then add another coat. But this is so quick and easy. I think the color is really pretty and it's just easy cleanup. I love using that shoe polish and they also have it in white and black. And be sure to check over by the shoelaces to find the shoe polish. So now I'm just going to be adding the welcome to that little popsicle stick so that that really pops out and I'm ready to hot glue it to our little wreath. And we're just going, all I'm doing is just going to hot glue that right in there. I could have put some um, like pipe cleaners on the back and tied it on the wreath, but I just went for the really quick method, hot glued that on there, and how cute is that? Just a couple of more little cutoffs there, and it is done. This one was my quick one today, and I love how it turned out. Look how cute. You could add a tail, but I just figured this was sort of his face and I didn't want to add a tail, but you totally could. And I hope that you can find those towels. I didn't find them in one store, but um, keep looking for the flower table or flower sack towels and enjoy making this fun shabby chic bunny today. And my last project today is the burlap basket. I had so much fun making this. And so we are starting out with a big giant bow from Dollar Tree. This is a big piece of fabric, burlap fabric from Walmart. I think it was $6, great price. And then this was a little piece of a wreath. We'll talk about that later. So I'm doing like uh, two pieces on this and I just cut it to fit around the bowl. And right here, another little clever trick 
back is if you didn't know on the box there it has which was really hard to do actually these little like triangle pieces that you're supposed to push in and that goes in between the uh, roll and it makes it roll easier I didn't know that so a little clever trick have you ever did you ever know that it actually says it on the box um, but anyway <laughs> I'm going to use this wax paper that I always uh, get from Dollar Tree and I'm going to lay the burlap across the top uh, put a bunch a bunch a bunch of Mod Podge on this layer and then I'm going to do another layer of with the other burlap piece As you can see I'm using a bunch of Mod Podge um, and it I'm just like pouring it on the top and letting it drip down below and it's just I'm just kind of spreading it out maybe I didn't need that much but um, at the time I was like yeah I want to make sure it's gonna get in there and all the way up the sides so then uh, I putting on the next piece here same thing just kind of smearing it and letting it run down the sides um, and uh, then I'm going to set it outside and let it dry. This, of course, since I'm using so much, is going to take overnight to dry. So I just get that all blended in and pushed down and it's done. Now to let it dry. So as I was letting it dry, I took it out of the the bowl or took it off of the bowl because underneath was a lot more of the Mod Podge so I stuck it outside and let that dry and this was my other one that I was letting dry oh and while we were waiting for that to dry this was a little project I did uh, last year and I always have it out on my patio things are a little not as green right now and um, hey have you ever uh, planted a celery just cut off the bottom of celery and that's what it looks like oh and just a little bitty uh, picture that my grandma used to have isn't it neat so anyway that's a really quick tour <laughs> oh my palm didn't come back I gotta get a new one okay so enough about that I have let it dry overnight and I'm just gonna be trimming it all off then I'm using that tool from Dollar Tree that uh, I can pull out and sort of make it a little rustic around the sides. Oh, that was so much fun to make. I tell you, I know you could probably buy a little basket at Dollar Tree, you know, the ones that they have. Um, I just wanted to make one of my own. I just love working with burlap. And uh, so I'm so proud of this. It came out really good. Okay, so now I have a little bit of that um, wreath from Dollar Tree. I just cut it a little bit and I wrapped it back up with the twine and hot glued it on there, clipped it and let it dry. And then I get to do the fun part of filling it all up. I really love the color of this floral moss and those flowers also came from Dollar Tree. They really are, really, really, really are beautiful. I just love lavender. And so um, they are very high end. So way to go Dollar Tree, you did some good lavender. So now I'm just adding some little carrots in there, whatever you have. Um, I've got those little um, eggs, there's little speckled eggs I got at clearance last year uh, from Hobby Lobby. And I also had the gold eggs from Dollar Tree, but I think they were a little too big. So I love these little mini eggs, so that came out great. So now the last little final touch, I'm using the little um, bunny faces from Dollar Tree, bunny face on a stick. And I kind of fixed her up a little bit. I took off that bow or that, um, no, it's like a daisy. Put a little button and then I uh, cut her little bow with those uh, pinking shears. Stuff them right in there and it's done. What do you think? 
I just love the rustic feel of this basket. All those beautiful colors. Uh, I love lavender and orange and those little uh, cute rabbits. I put them close together so they could share a carrot. And I just absolutely love how this turned out. That basket was just so much fun to make. And here it is from a top view. So I hope you enjoy this bird lap basket. And I hope you're able to find all these supplies today for these clever crafts. Well, I don't know how clever they were, but they sure were fun to do. And I so enjoyed you visiting today. I always upload on Tuesdays for my 60 second DIY and Saturdays are my full DIY episode. So thanks for joining me today on Susie's Stuff, KDIY channel 146. Bye everybody.